I think I've spoken before about the role I've taken up as lead bishop in our province for the newly established Anglican Science Commission. Uh, so it's in its early days, but I'm enjoying starting to get into that work a little bit. Uh, a month or so ago, I met with a group of people from Christians and Science, which is a New Zealand group that draws together just what it says, uh, Christian people who are involved in science from around the country. I had a good engagement with them over lunchtime for a couple of hours and just hearing about some of the work that they have done and some of their aspirations. Um, that group's chaired by Nicola Hoggard Cregan, who uh, is from our diocese. And uh, another Anglican on that is uh, Dean Graham O'Brien from the Diocese of Nelson. So looking forward to ongoing connections with that group of people. Uh, another international group, although UK based, uh, ECLAS, uh, which stands for Equipping Christian Leadership in an Age of Science. Uh, and this group exists to do, again, just what the name says. Uh, they held a seminar just during this last week that I joined in on Zoom, pretty early in the morning for uh, me online at 6am, but I noticed there was somebody there from Australia, so it would have been 4am um, for them. But a couple of really good presenters, including Francis Collins, who's a geneticist who's currently acting uh, science advisor to the President of the USA, so he was speaking to us from the White House, and Bishop Michael Beasley, who's uh, by background an epidemiologist and is newly appointed Bishop of Bath and Wells. He's one of our science commissioners. Uh, so they were talking about some of their perspectives on science. An interesting theme that came out of it is this interaction between faith and science and how we often think that uh, our role is to represent faith into the world of science, which I think we do need to do, uh, but also in this information overload world, um, this challenge of knowing what information can be trusted, everything that comes through um, social media at times, it just confronts people with opposing sets of information. There is a question for us, I think, within the church about how we fairly represent science to faith so that within faith we're making good decisions uh, about scientific knowledge. Uh, so there'll be lots of interesting work ahead and I'll, I'll keep you up to date with that uh, through the year. Very conscious we're getting close to Christmas. I'll do one more video before then to wish you a blessed Christmas and uh, certainly you're all in my prayers as you make those preparations now in these last weeks of the year.